Hey friends, I thought I would do a little sip and chat. I have my Element here. Element is sponsoring today's video, but more on that in a minute. I have now been back from KetoCon for, I think five days. So been able to decompress and collect my thoughts and just thought I'd sit and share about our experience, about the trip, and a little more detail than I was able to get in on my KetoCon videos. So while I was there, I tried really hard to get videos out as fast as I could, just sharing the event and, you know, the vendors and the speakers and different things like that, just because I know from experience being the one at home not able to go, you kind of want to feel like you're there. So when you get to see the videos kind of almost in real time, it's really special. So I tried really hard to do that. Because of that, I didn't spend a lot of time on the editing. And actually, it wasn't until like several days after I posted my KetoCon day one video, I realized that there was a really long clip of um, the guy at the brain tap booth when he was taking my initial readings. I had like these things on my wrist because uh, he was taking the readings of my brain. I don't know all the details, but anyways, it was just a really long clip of him sitting there chewing gum. <laughs> and I totally did not mean for that to be in there, but that was one of those things where it was like trade off like edit really fast and make some mistakes, but still get the, the content out to you guys like almost in real time. So anyways, I apologize to those of you who did not enjoy the uh, gum chewing guy, but if you want to know, you know what my experience was, I sat there and I listened to him chewing gum in real life uh, for that whole time. So before I get started with like all the different days and all the different things that happened, I just wanted to give one little non-scale victory, I guess you could call it. Um, a few years, years ago, I, you know, I've had my YouTube channel for about 12 years. And um, of course, you know, at the beginning, I never imagined that it would be what it is today. But anyways, I've been on YouTube for a long time and I've watched these conferences, um, you know, online or other people's videos of them. And a few years ago, I remember thinking that I could never go to a conference, or I could never um, be interviewed for a podcast, um, or, you know, like the thought of being somewhere where people would know me and come up and talk to me, the anxiety <laughs> in my heart was so strong that I just remember thinking, I'll never do that. I will never do that. And through getting healthier, both physically and mentally and spiritually, I feel like that has just completely changed. And this, going to this event, going to KetoCon and experiencing meeting so many people that watch me as well as people that I watch and look up to, um, and just realizing that I can do that <laughs> and that that anxiety that I had before is just dissipated. And like I said, for a variety of reasons, I'm not going to say that diet was the only thing. There's a lot of growth that has happened in my life in the last few years, but I do believe that that physical piece was a huge part of it. I have struggled with nutrient deficiencies and specifically iron deficiency for basically my whole adult life. I realize that now. I didn't know that before. And um, that can make you kind of just be in a fight or flight response, just your body doesn't have enough oxygen because it, there's not enough iron to transport it. And so it's like your body's in the stress, stress mode. And when you're in the stress mode, it makes it very difficult to relax and enjoy talking to people. And um, because of the work that I've done, you know, all on my gut, um, I, I do believe the Elruderai yogurt has helped. Like it's, it's a mood enhancer, um, that probiotic strain. Like there's so many different pieces. I don't want to say it's just one thing, but because of all of the work that I've done over the past several years on my health, I just am so thankful to have seen the results of all that hard work in such a tangible way of going to this event and meeting so many people and feeling at peace um, and not feeling, you know, stressed or anxiety ridden. Like that's a huge, huge non-scale victory for me. And um, I'm just so incredibly thankful for it. All right, so enough about that. Let's get into the details. 
A quick break to tell you about Element, who is the sponsor of today's video. Element is an electrolyte supplement. It comes in these really convenient little packs. I use them every day. They're perfect for travel. I keep them in my purse all the time, so I'm never without it. I use them on a regular basis just to help me feel hydrated and help me feel my best. But if I'm under the weather or have a headache, I always double up on my electrolytes and it really helps me like get the edge to get over whatever I'm dealing with. Right now, Element is offering my viewers a special deal where you could get a free sample pack. The sample pack contains all eight flavors, all of their regular flavors. And you can get this sample pack for free just by placing an order on the Element website using my link here on the screen or down in the description. Follow that link, place your order, and you will get a free sample pack with your order. So just go to drinkelement.com slash indigo. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash indigo and place your order to get your free sample pack. So we flew into DFW into Dallas because that's where my dad and stepmom live and they have a car that we were able to borrow, which was su such a blessing. Um, so we flew into DFW, we got to see them, then we drove down to Austin, we were staying with my brother and sister-in-law and their two kids, which was a joy. You guys got to see them on my last day in Austin video. They're adorable and wonderful. And the first event that we went to was actually the day before KetoCon got started. Um, the Keto Chow people, the Keto Chow people, as we call them, uh, Chris and Miriam and their whole crew invited me and my husband and Lindsay and her husband over to their Airbnb for dinner. Lindsay and I had not met in person at this point, so this was very, very exciting. <laughs> and so we got to the house and it was funny because um, there was all these instructions to get to the Airbnb about how steep the driveway was. And um, uh, Joe and Rachel have talked about it and everyone talked about how, how crazy this hill was. We're from Oregon and um, I mean, the hills are nothing. Anyways, so we get to the house and um, I knock on the door. I did not know at that point that Joe and Rachel were gonna be there. I had hoped they would, but I didn't know for sure. So we knock on the door and who should open the door but Rachel, one of the two crazy ketos. If you guys don't know who Joe and Rachel are, they are the two crazy ketos and they are amazing. And they just have built this most incredible keto community. Um, their channel is amazing. They are exuberant and joyful and just a pleasure to be around. So the door opens and it's Rachel. And of course, you know, there's a lot of screaming. My husband didn't know what was going on. He was a little bit terrified. Um, but I got to give Rachel a giant hug, which was like such a joy. And so we went in and I got to meet Miriam and Lynette from Keto Chow. And shortly after, Lindsay and Jared, her husband, arrived. And so, of course, that was an incredible moment of getting to meet her in person after I've known her for maybe five years or more online. We have been good friends. And um, just to meet someone in person just takes it to another level. I mean, it's incredible the amount of friendship you can have online through a screen, but to get to meet somebody in person and to like really give them a hug and just experience what it's like to be with them, just a whole new level. So we got to do all the meeting and the greeting and shortly after Chris and Joe arrived with a barbecue from Black's Barbecue, not Terry Black's, but a brother apparently. <laughs> Um, just Black's barbecue, and it was, I mean, a delicious meal, but the fellowship and the, the company was just so fun. We literally sat around the table for five hours. Five hours just sitting around the table talking. And being a YouTuber is kind of an interesting, an interesting um, vocation or way of life. And like, I don't know in my real life of anybody who does it. <laughs> like, I am weird. I am the weird one in my circle of friends. And to just sit and talk to other people who do the same thing and have experienced what it's like to be on that platform and to deal with the 
incredibly amazing people as well as the difficult, difficult people. It just was so incredibly refreshing. So that night, I mean, it was just beautiful. I only have a few pictures. We took some group pictures. I didn't take a single picture. They took some pictures and sent them to me. So I will share some of those. I was just really trying to focus on being in the moment and not trying to film everything. So um, I don't, I don't have any video or pictures from that night. So anyways, that was just like the perfect start to the weekend. It just set the stage for an incredible weekend. So KetoCon day one, I put out the video about that. I did the brain tap, which was very strange. It was almost like hypnotiza hypnotization. Is hypnotization a word? Uh, hypnotizing. <laughs> um, it had There was like a guy talking in your ear and there were lights and there were sounds. And um, it's like, I'm cutting a lemon and you can start salivating and... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I only did it the one time and um, it was very interesting. And we were so into like just talking to people and like overwhelmed with people coming up to us and, you know, just experiencing all that, that we actually missed a couple of the keynote uh, sessions that we really wanted to see. We missed Sally Norton and we missed Dr. Boz. Um, both of those we had wanted to see, but we were just like overwhelmed with, you know, experiencing everything there on the first day. So we missed those. Hopefully we'll be able to see those, um, you know, in a recording at some point. But we did get to go to a session with Jonathan Shane. He did a breakout session and um, he is the Keto Road. So he's on Instagram and YouTube as the Keto Road. And I had never heard his stuff before. I, I've heard the Keto Road talked about before, but I had never looked into his stuff. And I really enjoyed his talk. We did get in there a little bit late, so I didn't get the very beginning, but I really appreciated how he was open to the idea that some people might need some carbs sometimes. Because I did a video, you know, several weeks ago about how um, having some carbs can actually lower your blood sugar if you're having that cortisol response and that's causing higher blood sugars. Having just a little bit of carbs can help lower your blood sugar. So he actually said that, um, like, way better than I <laughs> said it in my video. He actually laid that out about how that happens and how he experienced that as well, adding in carbs and then seeing his blood sugar go down and actually even seeing his ketones go up, which was pretty crazy. So totally enjoyed that session. I've started following him, you know, on all the places. So I'm excited to hear more of his, uh, what he has to offer in his story. His story is pretty amazing. So definitely check out him on YouTube and on Instagram at The Keto Road. So the first day was like just a huge whirlwind of meeting people. I got to meet Anita, which was really fun. I just came around the corner and like there she was and I'm like, ah, Anita! And then we were able to give each other a hug and it was just, it was glorious. So then after the conference was finished on day one, uh, Lindsay and Jared and my husband and I went out to dinner. We went to Picnic, which is um, kind of a paleo-ish restaurant. They're, they're very into like local food and um, they have a lot of grain-free options. They have some keto options, but it's more like paleo focused. So we had, um, oh, my husband and I shared a bibimbap bowl with steak. It was fantastic. It was so fun to get to know Lindsay and Jared and like let Jeff and Jared get to know each other. That was really, really cool. We were like, you know, trying to decide in the weeks before, like if they were going to like each other or hate each other or, you know, be indifferent or whatever, but they really hit it off and they had a good time. So very, very thankful for that. And we just really enjoyed getting to know them better. So then let's see on day two, that was Saturday. The first session that we went to was the regen regenerative farming panel, which of course my husband and I are very interested in. Um, so it was really cool to hear some different farmers uh, talk about, you know, their processes and their stories. Um, that was fascinating. We got to hear Dr. Anthony Gustin, who um, he was the founder of Perfect Keto as well as Equip, which those are two companies that I work with and am partnered with. And so it was really fun to hear his story. It was really cool to watch the two crazy ketos do their MC thing on Saturday. So they were coming up in between each speaker. They're just so fun. So that was really cool. Lindsay and I got to try Keto Brick for the first time. They had like all the flavors 
flavors out there so you could just go and try every single one and I swear if you go and try every single one you will have had an entire meal <laughs> by the time it was done uh, so that was really fun because I've heard such good things about keto brick and um, hadn't tried it before so that was really cool to be able to try it without having to like place a big order and spend lots of money not knowing if you were gonna like it or not so now I know the flavors that I like we also got to listen to Kevin stock um, and his keynote session now he is some one that I have really enjoyed for a long time. He is a dentist and so he has a unique perspective on health, uh, you know, as it relates to oral health. And um, he just, he has a really cool story as well. And actually my husband, you know, joined me with that one. He wasn't there for the entire conference, but he came in and out for different sessions. And he just happened to be able to, you know, be there for that one, which I was really excited for because um, my husband really, really enjoyed that session and felt like he got the most out of that session. So that was really cool. If you guys have not heard of Kevin Stock or heard his his stuff, then definitely check him out. He does a lot of interviews like on podcasts. So if you go into a podcast app and just search Kevin Stock, you should find interviews with him and uh, he just has so much good information. So then Saturday evening, we got invited to Kim Howerton and the Berries Airbnb for a little dinner party. That was pretty exciting. I saw the berries at the conference. They were only there for like a short time at their booth. And like every time they were anywhere to be seen, there was like a mile long <laughs> line to meet them and, you know, get autographs and all that with the very, very famous berries. And so I was worried that I wasn't even going to be able to say hi to them because they were just so incredibly mobbed. But uh, Kim came and found me and we got to go over to their Airbnb. So that was really fun. Um, my husband, you know, he is not, he's not keto, although he has changed his diet a lot and he's reduced his carbs a lot. Um, and he, he said he did get some good takeaways from being at KetoCon and there's some changes that he, you know, might be interested in implementing. So that was very cool. But anyways, so he doesn't know all of these people. Like our YouTube watch lists are very, very different. There is very little overlap. And so he didn't know who any of these people were. And so we walk in to the Airbnb and Dr. Barry is right there. And, you know, he knows who I am. So he's like, oh, so good to see you. And like, I give him a hug and Jeff reaches out his hand to shake his hand and says, you know, I'm Jeff. And uh, Dr. Barry doesn't say his name because a thousand people were just in line to meet him because everyone knows who Dr. Barry is, right? And so, you know, he doesn't say his name. And so Jeff's like, and you are? <laughs> and I uh, was like, oh, I'm Ken. <laughs> and so Jeff met Dr. Barry as Ken. Anyways, uh, Nisha thought it was great that Jeff didn't know who her husband was. I guess you just need those people like to keep the ego down every once in a while. So at least Jeff was able to, uh, to provide that service. But you know, I can't take him anywhere, seriously. So at the dinner party, it was really cool like to get to meet a lot of the other speakers, um, got to meet Dr. Kiltz, which he introduced himself as Rob, which I mean, just so humble. <laughs> seriously, the nicest guy ever. So we got to meet Dr. Kiltz. We also got to meet um, Robert and Crystal Sykes of Keto Savage and Lady Savage and their little 11 month old son. Uh, we got to talk about like homesteading and homeschooling because they're both, you know, like getting started in that as well. So that was really cool. I got to chat with Nisha a lot about homesteading and homeschooling and, you know, life as a YouTuber and stuff like that. That was amazing. And of course, I hung out with Kim. Kim interviewed me on her podcast um, several months ago, and so I got to know her then. And we have so many similarities with our journey and with like where we are with our diet right now. So hanging out with her was just so fun. Laura Spath and Judy Cho were there. BNS, the guy from India who's doing carnivore, he was there as well, uh, along with his mother. That was really fun to meet them. This was their first time in the US, and so that was very, very cool. So anyways, besides my husband's initial embarrassing moment, <laughs> um, it was just a fantastic night and just, just such a dream come true just to meet all of those people. So then Sunday, the final day, I forgot to say on Saturday that we got to meet uh, Wendy and Harry from Loving It on Keto. And of course, we got to meet Sally, their little dog, which was so fun. The first session on Sunday morning was the carnivore panel. So that was very interesting to hear. 
different perspectives, you know, on different things. Not everyone on the panel agreed with each other. So that was cool to see you kind of the little back and forth and the different perspectives there. Next up on the main stage was Dr. Barry. So of course we stayed for that session. I did get a little bit of that live streamed. It wasn't until like the last day that I was like, oh, I could live stream some of this. And so <laughs> I wish I had thought of that sooner. Um, I know the audio was not great, it's the best I could do at the time with what I had. Um, so, and I heard from a lot of people that you enjoyed getting to see that little snippet. Then after that session, uh, Lindsay dragged me over to the SciBio booth, uh, which is where I got my continuous ketone monitor. She had talked to them and she had gotten one and she's like, you gotta, you gotta get over here and get one of these things. So that was really, really neat. I had no idea that there was a continuous ketone monitor you know, coming on the market this soon. So that was really cool. Um, I'll have more video on that and my experiments with it coming soon. So you can look for that. So we got the continuous ketone monitors applied and the app on all figured out. And then we had to run upstairs before we missed the um, two crazy ketos and their breakout session. Now I was bummed that they had their breakout session at the same time as Robert Sykes, Keto Savage, um, after I just met him the night before, I really wanted to hear his talk, but then I had to go see the two crazy ketos, so I, I was torn, um, but I did go upstairs to the two crazy ketos, and I am hoping that the, the keynote stage talks will be released on something at some point, so hopeful that I'll still get to see that talk. But anyways, we had a great time up in the breakout room with uh, two crazy ketos, and hearing more of their story and just their energy and their encouragement. It was, it was phenomenal. Then after that, there was just a whirlwind of taking pictures with everybody and lots more hugs before the end of the day. And before we knew it, we were at the final remarks and the raffle at the end and all of the festivities were wrapped up and that was KetoCon 2023. Jeff and I and Lindsay and Jared all went out to dinner together that night and had another wonderful time and had to part ways there at the end of the evening, which was sad, but I feel like the weekend was so full of fun and fellowship and meeting people. I mean, it was just, it was overwhelming in, in like the best possible way. And I was really happy that we had planned to have our trip be a little bit longer. So we were able to have a couple days there at the end where I was able to focus on my family, which I had ignored, you know, the whole weekend. And Jeff and I were able to have some time, just the two of us. So all in all, it was just an amazing, amazing experience and really a dream come true. And honestly, I couldn't ask for better. So expectation versus reality. So I don't think I had it in me to be able to expect before experiencing it, how amazing it was going to be. Like it, it exceeded my expectations. Meeting everyone in person was just such a special experience that you just can't, you can't duplicate through a screen. It's just, like I said, it just adds add something and I can't really explain it. Very, very thankful for the experience. Absolutely loved it. If you guys have a chance to go to an event like this, I highly encourage it. I can't say that I walked away with all of this new information that's going to inform, you know, like completely change my diet, but that wasn't the whole point for me. Like I did get good information and it was really interesting to hear all the different talks, but the main takeaway that I have is the experience meeting people in person. And for me, that's like the most valuable thing from the weekend. So anyways, that is it. This is a very long video. Thanks for sticking through it. Um, thank you to everyone who came up and said hi and gave me a hug. Uh, you guys made me feel incredibly special. I mean, I'm just a stay at home homeschool mom that likes to cook and you guys just made me feel like a celebrity. It was, it was amazing. So thank you so much for that. And um, I hope to be able to do it again sometime. I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you guys are all doing well. Let's chat down in the comments and I will just see you again in the next video.